Thank you for joining me, my dear brother Nima. It's a pleasure. So today we want to introduce our viewers to our banner. Uh, this is our banner. It's uh, known as the Black Banner. And uh, it is the flag um, of our state and the banner of our religion and our call. And it's the banner of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. And it is the banner that uh, the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him and his family, uh, used in the Battle of Badr. And that was then folded up afterwards. And that Imam Ali alayhi salam uh, used in the Battle of the Camel. And it is, it used to be a white banner, but it is black to signify the sins of the people. And uh, it says at the top right hand corner, uh, La ilaha illallah, uh, there is no God uh, but Allah. On the top left hand corner is Muhammad Rasulullah. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. On the bottom uh, right hand corner, Ali Wali Allah. Ali is the vicegerent of God. And on the left hand corner at the bottom, you have the Mahdi is the proof of Allah, Al Mahdi Hajjatullah. And in the middle, it says Al Bay'a Lillah, or allegiance is to God. Uh, and then it says on there, that which you were promised has come. And uh, basically, uh, this banner it is mentioned in the narrations of the Ahl al-Bayt that the Mahdi comes and he comes, the cotton comes with, a, uh, with an army of people uh, that are carrying the black banners. And for that reason, this idea of black banners coming from the east or black banners coming from Khurasan, uh, this is why you have uh, many different groups that have tried to establish states uh, in the name of uh, religion or in the name of God, they have capitalized on the idea that the Mahdi comes with black banners and they have made banners that were black uh, to uh, basically be the banner of their state or of the group. And that's why you have the Taliban using black banners, Al-Qaeda was using black banners, ISIS, and all of these uh, uh, horrible terrorist groups, uh, they were all uh, using uh, black banners uh, in order to give the impression to their followers that they are uh, you know, followers of the Mahdi or that the Mahdi is going to come uh, from them. And uh, the narrations uh, from the Ahl al-Bayt have clarified, though, that in the banner of the Mahdi, it's written in it, al-Bay'a lillah, or allegiances to God. And, 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 and from the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him and his family, until this day, there has been many black banners that were raised, but this is the only black banner that was ever raised in the history of Islam that had written in it al bayah lillah or allegiance is to God and that is one of the ways and one of the proofs that you know that this call is the truth and it is this call that has with it uh, the Mahdi. Yeah, that is the one that makes our verification more heavier than everybody else's basically. Yes, it's a, it's an additional proof that, you know, 1400 years passed by and the narration stated that in it is written uh, al bayah lillah and, and nobody else did it except or raised a banner that was black that had in it written al bayah lillah except for uh, this call here. And so what would be the point of the narrations if many people could raise the same banner and not have the Mahdi with them? They would just be narrations that would lead to misguidance uh, or that would lead people astray because then people would say, well, I heard in the narration or I read in the narration that the Mahdi's banner had in the al lab, but it ended up being false. Uh, so it was one of those things that was protected and it was only in this Dawah uh, that the 
uh, on the day that the uh, Mahdi appeared, the proof appeared, and it was the it was raised by the cotton, uh, the black banner that was written in Al Bayalullah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you so much, Nima. Thank you very much, Nima.